working with breaking news right now, a live look at the Gaza Strip, where it is a little past 2 a.m. there. And over the past, say, four or five hours, we have seen intense firefights between Hamas and the Israelis in a continuation of artillery barrages, uh, aerial bombardment, and then also flares, which indicate increased uh, ground activity and uh, conflict between Hamas and Israel. Uh, the Israelis are now saying in Hebrew media that the Hamas lines right around Gaza City, that would be in this area, have started to break down. Their words, not ours. But if that is happening, it is significant, and it shows the effects of the Israelis' three-prong attack. It went for like this. First, from the south, where they cut Gaza in two. That makes it impossible for Hamas to reinforce. They come down from the north, and they come in here from the west. They're going to now be able to push all the way in. The question is, how long can Hamas hold on here in Gaza City? We're going to zoom in and show you perhaps why tonight might be so critical. This is a, obviously a much tighter view. Every one of these little specks represents buildings. And as, the, as they go in, as Israel goes in, things become increasingly dangerous in what you would call an urban warfare uh, environment. The closer they get into Gaza City, the denser the population. We're going to show you just one of the threats Israel faces really now from 360 degrees. Hamas put out uh, this video here from a drone overhead dropping ordnance down on an Israeli position. You can see right there the grenade goes down, boom, and the Israelis run. That makes it very difficult to is for Israel to move through individual streets because they now have to look all the way up. That's something they had not been used to before. The combat we are seeing is not really, in the words of the Israelis, building to building. It's literally room to room, face to face. And of course, underneath so much of this, in so much of this area here and this area here, is Hamas's tunnel systems. New video of some of the ground from the, fi from the fighting we can show you. This is some of the tactics Hamas is using. You can see an Israeli tank uh, right here, some of their uh, larger tanks and armored personnel carriers. And then it's pretty simple, literally a propane tank with a fuse on it. And that is what Hamas is doing. Benjamin Netanyahu, just in the past couple of hours, has said, quote, nothing is going to stop us. That is a strong rebuff of President Biden, who called last night for a pause in the fighting. Israel right now has the momentum, clearly. And there are reports from the Israelis, again, we can't confirm this, that the leader of Hamas, who lives in Qatar, the political leader, has flown to Tehran to meet with the Ayatollah and the mullahs and the Iranian Revolutionary Guard for urgent consultations as the Israelis' offensive is moving a lot quicker than they thought it would. News Nation correspondent Robert Sherman live from Tel Aviv right now, where it is already early Friday morning. Hi, Robert. Hey there, Leland, and you said it perfectly. The word we've been getting from the Israelis today is they believe they're in the driver's seat. They have the momentum as they continue to push deeper into the Gaza Strip. That two-front attack that you mentioned there, first encircling Gaza City, but now the IDF saying that they do indeed have boots on the ground in Gaza City itself, which, as you said, brings that tunnel system into imminent focus here. And the IDF even acknowledging that those tunnels are a quote-unquote death trap, if their soldiers get caught in one-on-one -on -one firefights underneath the city's surface, they say there's no chance they're going to let that happen. They'll deal with the tunnels another way. And lastly, while so much focus has been paid to the southern front, the north as well with Lebanon has seen heightened contention today, a flurry of attacks coming from that direction, which the IDF has had to respond to. The IDF says as far as they're concerned, anything that comes out of Lebanon, they chalk off to the responsibility of Hezbollah. Leland. Yeah, and the leader of Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, gives a speech about eight hours from now, his first major public speech in years, um, which will probably tell us the direction Hezbollah takes, whether they do want to open up a full second front or whether they want this uh, tit-for-tat rocket fire that forces the Israelis to be ready for a second front. Uh, Robert, things are about to get very interesting, uh, as if they are not already very interesting for you in Tel Aviv. Sun up there in just a couple of hours. Thank you, sir. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's 
fact-driven, unbiased coverage.